Okay, now it's time to set up the photo blogging plugin. Save this part for last. Okay, so we go to settings and then we go to YAPB. Okay, now what we have to do in here is first set up the options here. And first one, we can post by the date that's on the photograph. It has something called EXIF data that is carried with a photograph from the digital information when you took it from the digital camera. So you can either have it post from that date. So if you have a picture that's two years old, then your post is going to be two years old. Okay, so you want to be careful about that and decide whether you want to do that. I'm going to turn that off in this case. You can automatically assign it to a specific category. We haven't set up any categories yet. But if you always want to post to one category, this is where you can do it. And you can enable the upload for content pages. Okay, this is the pages part, which we see here, pages. It's automatically going to do it for posts. So you can decide whether you want to enable it for pages or not. I'm going to enable that. Okay, and you can have EXIF tags actually appear on your site. Okay, so if we were to check this, we could enable tags filtering. And then there'd be a list of different tags here we could use. And when we post a photo, it'll learn what tags our camera put on there. Okay, I'm going to still disable this right now. And then down here, we have ping services. Okay, so you could put in your ping list in here again, if you like. Okay, it's already going to get pinged anyway from our ping list so you don't really need to put this in here okay so if you made any changes here you should change save your changes okay we have thumbnail options now what happens with thumbnails is it uses a library on your computer it just uses PHP actually to resize them and this has an effect depending on how much memory is available on your server so if it runs out of memory you can use something called the convert library and if you're going to use that, you need to find out where Image Magic's Convert program is located and put the absolute path to that in here. Now you can find this out from your hosting provider if you need it. But before I went to this step, I would try and post some first and see how it handles your thumbnails. If you have trouble with that, then you can contact your hosting provider, find out where Image Magic is installed, and then you can put the absolute path in here. Okay, here it's just going to convert it to XHTML, which just to replaces these characters instead of this one okay you don't need to worry about that too much too much uh, your default type of image that's going to be output so you can pick that I'd leave it a JPEG okay if you have interlaced type of photos in GIF or PNG format is handled like that okay just leave that unchecked unless you have a reason to check it okay your feed options you can decide whether you want your images embedded in RSS2 and Atom feed. Okay, and then down here you can put custom HTML before and after your content if you like. So you could put a URL to your site or something like that in here if you wanted. Okay, embed a thumbnail. On here you can have it as enclosures and embed it at a different size if you want. Or you can use the Yahoo media RSS function if you like as well okay I just take the defaults on this and then automatic image insertion and all this does is it links things to your thumbnail if you want it to you can take that off if you want and your thumbnail will not link to the post page if you don't have that here okay you can have it without target in the same window or in a new window if you want Okay, and then down here we have how it handles our home page and our single pages, our archive pages, and our content pages. Okay, you should just leave these at the default unless you don't like the way it does it. Okay, and there are several things you can change here if you don't like the way it handles it, but I think it handles it just fine with the defaults. Okay, so we'll just save the changes. And our photo blog plugin is now all set up. Okay, now what we need to do is make our first post. All right, so go to post, and what we're going to do is add new. This is going to be our first photo blog post. Now you notice that 
we have our image right here. So what we do is we browse for an image on our computer and then we can post the EXIF data if we want right here. Okay, now it's unchecked automatically because that's what we did in our options. Okay, and then you could put any text down here that you like as well, just like a regular post. Okay, so first thing you want to do is put in your post name up here. Now, actually, we should set up our categories first, otherwise it's going to go into uncategorized. So it's probably a good idea to set up any categories you're going to want to use here. Okay, so we'll go campsites I like, and we'll just add that category. Go, cool. And then you can add as you go if you want. But I'm just going to start with the one. Okay, now let's go back to our post here. Let's go browse for an image. Just click browse and find it on your computer. Okay, so let's see. We can find a picture here. Okay, so then we give it our title. And then we can put any description down here now. Okay, and then choose your category over here. Down here, you can choose whether you're going to allow comments on the particular post. We set that at a global level, so that's always going to be what shows down here. But if you decide to change it, you can do that here. And then this is our all-in-one SEO plugin. We can add some description and keywords to every post to make it more search engine friendly. Okay, at this point, we'll click Publish. Okay, here it is. Let's have a look at our blog now. Let's go visit site. Okay, so here it is. And everything seems to be working okay as far as the thumbnail is concerned. When we click either on the picture or on the title here, we should go to the single page. Okay, and we do. Okay, so that's how we get started. Now let's go back to the admin side here. We didn't set on the side here, we didn't set up our widgets, so let's do that while we're at it. Okay, let's go to appearance and let's go to widgets. Let's set what we want on our sidebar. So what I like to put on there is categories first. And you can change the title here if you want. I'm just going to leave it actually. And then recent posts I like to put on here. Change that to recent photos. You can change how many you want to have on here if you like. I'll save. Close. Okay. Now we should also go to links here while we're at it. Let's get rid of all this stuff. It's not going to show anyway, but we don't need it in here. Okay, back to our site. Okay, so now we have our categories and our recent photos. Okay, the last thing we're going to talk about is monetization. Okay, let's talk about a couple of easy ways to monetize your site. What we can do is we can use affiliate programs or link to any site that we have that has something to do with our photo blog. So this is a camping blog. If I have a product, like a digital product that is camping product, I can do that. Or if I have a physical product store that I've created from Amazon or something like that, I could point to that from here. Okay, to do that, what I would do is I go to links and I add a new link. I would then link to my product and then I would add links to my widgets. Okay, so just as an example, I went to ClickBank. I found a product on camping. So I'll just click Promote. Okay, I then put my ClickBank nickname in here and create a hop link. If I want, I can put a tracking ID pointing that uh, just tells me where it came from. Let's create that. We'll grab this. Back to here. Family camping. Camping ebook. 
web address, paste that in there. And then down here, if we click that, it'll open in a new window. And that's all good. Okay, let's add the link. All right, now what we have to do is go and add the links widget back onto our site. Save that. What we could do actually, let's make a new link category. Let's call it Camping Links. Let's add. Okay, now that we've got our camping link in here, we need to edit our link. Should have done this first. Edit the link and then set it to camping links. Okay. Now things will look a little better on our widget here. And camping links. Alright, let's go back to our site now, and we'll see here's our camping links, and Family Camping eBook takes us off to our affiliate product. Now probably one of the easiest ways to monetize your site as well is to put some AdSense code on it or some sort of contextual advertising, Yahoo Publishing Network, or whatever you like, you can put on your blog as well. So what we could do to add AdSense code is to add a simple plugin. So let's go to plugins and then let's do add new and then let's do a search for AdSense. Or YPN or whatever. Whatever you want to put here. Let's do a search plugins. We'll use the all-in-one AdSense and YPN. Just click install here. Install. And the usual thing here, proceed and activate. Okay, so there it is, all-in-one AdSense and YPN. Go to settings. Go to AdSense. Just pick your ad network here. AdSense YPN or random and then you put your AdSense ID now this is your account number that goes here and a channel if you want a channel same thing with YPN here and then you pick the size and you can make your blocks colored if you want to change the color to more closely match your site you can put your colors in here ads to show per page and where you want them to show so it's as simple as that Okay, so I'm going to put my AdSense code in here. Okay, I'm not going to bother with the channel. Type of ads. Okay, so text image or text and image. It's up to you. Corner style. These are all things that you can do on AdSense. Okay, and then our size here. Let's make it a... 200 by 200. I'm just going to leave the default colors. I could make it match my blog by looking at the style sheet and determining what the color should be. Make it match more closely. I only want one ad. I'm going to put it at the top left. Okay, I'm going to make it show on all pages. You can exclude it here. After you've tested that at work, you can turn this off here so that you don't see the ads yourself anymore. Okay, we're all done here, so let's save this. And AdSense is now on our site. It may not show up at first because it is contextual advertising and it has to actually figure out what our site's about before it's going to show up. 
Okay, here it is down here. So it is showing up now. Okay, so that's another way that you can monetize your site. That concludes the video series on creating your own photo blog.